What's going on, chess lovers? This is Maurice Bishop Chess. See, I know my slogan. Life is a game of chess. All right, guys. Um, we're playing a three-minute um blitz. Normally, don't. Well, I haven't. I ain't gonna lie to you. I haven't played in uh, chess.com in a minute for a minute now. But um, we're gonna do what it do. Uh, we'll go H3 to stop any G4 moves and stuff. And um, we'll go D4. We'll go bishop f4. Alright, queen d2. And uh, I want to castle um, queen side, uh, which is what I want to do. Castle queen side, put more pressure on the d6 um, pawn. I mean, obviously not right now, but eventually he's going to want to move uh, c5 or c6, um, whatever the case is. Um, mm, we'll still do that. B5, that's fine. See, so now you see this backward pawn now. So even if you go C4, I got Bishop B2. And, um, just fine. Well, you know what? Now I can just, I'll just do this then. We'll play this. Alright, Queen E2. I mean, E4, I mean. All right, and now we'll just go Queen F3. All we want to do is um, create some weaknesses here. Um, I thought he was going to go, like, maybe Bishop G5, but I guess not. He probably think about C4, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to just still do my normal plan uh, with that. Who's going to get there faster? I feel like I'm going to get there faster, though. The crazy part, uh, in the beginning, um, I thought he had to move f5. He could have trapped my bishop. Uh, but then again, I mean... Uh, I still got king b1. I mean, him going B3 is not going to uh, do too much once I take. But once I take this pawn, I mean, yeah. So now it's going to be crazy. Because now I can sack on the uh, on the H. I can sack this uh, H pawn here. Uh, real cartridge H7. You know, if he takes um, queen H5 on um, check and then queen captures on G6. So... Uh, I have a lot of things um, I could do with this, but uh, anytime you feel like you're about to be attacked, you know you gotta stay calm, look at it, um, look at it from different angles and everything. And simple as that, you know. But um, this guy right here is gonna get made it. So, and I didn't realize, guys, that uh, as I'm looking at this game now. I just realized that I just played the Eurosoft Gambit. <laughs> God, I'm just now realized I played the Petros Defense, but it was the Eurosoft Gambit, and I didn't even realize I was playing it. Very crazy. Uh, E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight F6. Uh, Bishop. You know what? In Bishop C4, and that is actually correct, because that is part of the Eurosoft Gambit, which is um, crazy. Knight C3, and then I play H3, Knight C6, and then D4. Uh, takes, but how would it be a Eurosoft game if I didn't really give away, oh, let's go back, I don't think I even gave away any pawns, I didn't even give away a pawn, so I don't know how that would be a Petra's defense Eurosoft Gambit, I'm not really sure, but anyway, I guess uh, the way I played it guys, it was the Eurosoft, but uh, the way I just played it, I just like this position a lot better, um, you know, especially with him uh, making me activate my uh, light square bishop. Uh, this was pretty crazy. Queen e4, always go for threats, you know, I gotta move with a purpose. G6, because I already created weakness, and now, 
this is another thing guys if you're going to create weakness create a weakness and then start building on it and that's why i had h4 h5 coming in just by him going g6 and with a light square bishop crazy guys when you have three or more pieces surrounding the king you can start an attack he goes c4 this is what i was talking about guys um i was wondering why not c4 and then after bishop e4 he didn't come here um I wasn't sure why he didn't uh, do that, but I was also thinking about uh, this move h5. Uh, but I wonder if it would have mean anything if I would have just played queen g3. Probably not because I could still come back. He still can't take. So maybe he would have had uh, a better um, position if he would have played that. Uh, I don't know, like may, may, maybe he would have had, but let's say h5, let's say he does take, and um, obviously I wouldn't take, I'll go queen g3, you know, put pressure on here, but even with me losing the light square bishop, it's still, I don't know, um, in, in this position, it still come off as uh, white still uh, has the advantage um, in here, even without um, my light square bishop. Um, I mean, it's kind of crazy because I don't know how he could defend. Even if I take, I take queen captures g5 in here. Queen f6. I want to say a6 where I'm threatening uh, checkmate here. I mean, even if he goes bishop g4, uh, I probably will open up more lines in this way. You know, so... To be honest with you, I mean, I could just go queen g5, but the whole point, I wanted to stay here so that I can uh, make way. Because I, what I want to do is I want to get the um, rook files open. That's the whole purpose of it. So in other words, if he takes and he takes and he takes, then obviously this is this is game over. So it's nothing that he'll be able to do. Now, if I do take, or like, let's say I take, uh, what will he do um, in his position? Honestly, I don't think he even had to take in the beginning. So if I go f3, he might have to give up the material. That's the only thing I could possibly think of. If he comes here, I may have to go... I don't know, I'm thinking about queen d4 because I'm still hitting... I feel like I'm still hitting something, you know, so, and it's not like, I mean, even if he takes, I mean, he can't take because he'll lose this, um, light square bishop, so he can't even do that, so, yeah, I, I, I feel as though white still has, like, a, a big advantage, and it's not like he could trade queens, I mean, he could go queen f4 check, or whatever, but he still has to watch that, and then after queen e5, Maybe queen b6. And now if he does take, thinking that he might be good, I got the check. Um, maybe rook f1. And if he take... I don't know, this, this seems... Um, I know after rook g7, uh, this is um, <laughs> this is um pretty crazy, guys. Even after uh, rook g7, he probably would have to come here, but then I still have rook um, g1. But he does got this threat too, so I'm telling you guys, there, there's a lot of things here. Um, even after, even if he takes, he takes. Now I have queen c3, check. Can't come here. Well, I could come here, I could come here. Either way, that's still kind of uh, shaky. But he'll have to go queen e5, which is the crazy part. Yeah. So, I don't want to go too much, guys, because this is like a long analysis. Uh, it's like a whole bunch of possibilities um, and everything. So, it, it's pretty crazy. But, um, but yeah, guys, I was, just, I was just thinking about that, just thinking out loud, you know, 
what I possibly um, could have did. Uh, but I, I think even with losing the Bishop, I think White has some uh, initiative, has some play uh, that I think would really um, do me justice. But anyway, um, a after this, guys, after this rook captures, uh, this was pretty much over. Uh, take and then checkmate. Alright guys, I hope y'all uh, actually enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like, share, comment. Let me know what you think. And also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Alright guys, peace.